Good evening. A grandmother from Wolverhampton has come within hours of being wrongfully deported to Jamaica. Paulette Wilson came to the UK as a little girl back in the late 60s, before immigration laws were in place, so she was entitled to live here freely. But for the past two years, she's been involved in a legal wrangle with the Home Office to try and prove her right to stay. Well, after a week in detention, officials finally released her from Heathrow this lunchtime. Her family say it's shameful how she's been treated and are now considering suing. Sarah Bishop has the details. She's absolutely adorable. She's so bubbly. It's just sad that someone so nice has to go through this. This is a picture of me and my mum when I was about two years old. Um, that's in Telford. It was like some kind of festival that we was at. Natalie's mum, Paulette, was just 10 years old when she came from Jamaica to live with her grandma in the UK. She worked all her life at one time as a chef in the House of Commons. But then two years ago, the Home Office wrote to say that she was an illegal immigrant. Last week, they detained her at a routine appointment in Birmingham. I've never heard my mum screaming down the phone like that and the fear in her voice was absolutely horrendous. Um, what was she thinking do you think? She was just saying to me on the phone I'm probably not going to see you again uh, for a good few months or years because I think they're going to send me back to Jamaica. Paulette's solicitor says the Home Office had no case because Paulette had arrived on British soil before immigration laws were brought in. Well, I think it's a horrendous case. It, it is quite um, disgusting the way in which these people have behaved. We don't know all the reasons behind it, and I, I personally think that the Home Office should have an investigation, preferably an independent investigation of what's gone on. But in the end, it seems to me that the, um, the buck stops at, right at the top. It really goes up, not, not even just to the Home Secretary, but to the Prime Minister because she was the one who introduced what she called the hostile environment for immigrants. At lunchtime today, Paulette was told she was about to be released from a detention centre near Heathrow Airport. Hi, how are you feeling? Happy. I just want to see you, man. I want to see you too. <laughs> you know, so I okay, can't I wait mean, to see I, you. I mean, I sleep with you tonight. <laughs> you know, <I've> <laughs> okay, mum. <laughs> All right, I love you, OK? Yeah, I love you too. The Refugee and Migrant Centre in Wolverhampton have been helping Paulette and her family. They say over the past two years, there's been a spike in cases like hers. It's someone whose whole life is here in the UK. They've done everything. They've worked, paid taxes, raised their families here. And then all of a sudden, at an arbitrary point, they're just told by the Home Office, actually, you have no leave to remain in the UK and you should make plans to leave the country. Nobody deserves to go through something like this, especially when they are not an illegal immigrant in the country. Nobody. And of course I'm going to take legal action. What impact has it had on your mum? A very bad one. She's changed. She's not as bubbly as she used to be. Well, Sarah joins us from Wolverhampton train station now. Sarah, it's been a really anxious wait for Paulette and her family. Have they been reunited yet? Have they been reunited? Oh, yes. Uh, she's literally just got off the train and it was, well, one hell of an emotional reunion. There were tears. They were hugging each other. Her cousins come here from Telford. Uh, her granddaughter's here. I've not seen anything quite like it, actually. They are absolutely overjoyed and I'm pleased to say that they are here with me. Paulette, what does it feel like to be back on the soil of Wolverhampton? Well, it feels fantastic. I'm back with the people that love me, so it just feels great. It, I, I can't put it in words. It's, uh, uh, it just feels fantastic. That's all I can say. I know you're very upset, but can you just tell us a little bit about how close it got to you going to Jamaica? When they took me to this place near the airport, this morning I woke up and I thought, literally I was going to be put on a plane but it, I went for an interview with the Jamaican High Commissioner. High Commissioner and she said to me that I'm not going to be put on a plane and two minutes after that I was told I was released. Thank goodness Natalie just quickly what's it like to have your mum back? Amazing, amazing I'm over the moon. 
I'm over the moon. OK, well, I'll let you get off home because I know you're very hungry for a start. We still haven't heard any official comment from the Home Office today, but what a day for this family. It could have ended also very differently. Indeed. Sarah Bishop, thank you for that. The day's other news now and the Royal College.